Bum, bum, bum. Alright, this is it. Alright, so it's pretty much 98.5 done. 98.5% done. Oh, I think I left off. Um, yeah, I mounted this thing up. And um, yeah, I think the last video was me mounting it. And that's it. Uh, I ran into the problem where the radiator was not going to fit in this uh, original OEM position. And I realized why. There's two types of motor mounts applications that you can use it's EKK1 motor mounts which was like the original one I guess that aftermarket support came out with and that allows the motor to sit in this position right here uh, with you having the obligation of moving the radiator over to this side and then they came out with EKK2 motor mounts which is a little bit more and I didn't know why but now I realize why I have to do a little bit of research the EKK2 motor mounts allow the motor to sit about two inches back leaving more space here in the front more clearance for the oil pan but this works just as fine as well I just didn't realize because I just wanted to buy all the parts and swap this here so that's the reason why uh, this motor is sitting pretty close to the radiator support and not allowing me to use the original uh, well not allowing me to use my k tune radiator which I have bought which is for sale just in case anybody's interested anyways so what I had to do was use my original uh, B series and this is an aluminum radiator you can still use the upper radiator hose for the K series and then as far as the the lower one goes, uh, ended up, I ended up using the B series uh, lower radiator hose and just having to cut it up a little bit. Now this also, I don't know if you guys remember from my previous videos, is uh, an adapter, uh, I don't know, an adapter inlet, I guess. And it goes, it ties into either uh, well, I mean, people have said to use it more in the lower radiator hose, so that's where I have it. But this is for my uh, th uh, my temperature gauge and then my radiator fan switch. Uh, and then this is the, the well, I think I have Hasport conversion harness, which comes with the plug for both of them. All right, so on my lower radiator hose, coming from the thermostat housing to the lower radiator outlet, I tied in this adapter um, inlet for both of those sensors right there. All right, and then as you can see, I have the radiator sitting just a little bit slanted, which is per perfectly fine as long as I have good airflow from the front and the slim fan also connected to it. So and also I have enough room to put in a air intake here. Like a lot of room from right here to right there. So I ran everything. I ran um, this is a vacuum line. I used the original um, piping from the motor, and I ran it to my brake booster. I have my clutch line ran this way. This is my fuel system, my K2 fuel pressure regulator, and just tied into the fuel lines right here. I just cut them up right there, and the, the supply is running underneath the intake and up in here right into the fuel rail um, have my key tuned headers and the heater hose is running there so I'm gonna just zip tie the harness up away from the headers which is not really touching it but you know just for for safety and all, I'm just gonna zip tie them nice and and neatly together. Um, which is there's a lot of space back here, so it's pretty nice and spacious. 
Uh, no longer touching the headlight right here where it was before. Um, so you gotta extend it, but I ended up just using the same length wires and just move the terminals for the positive right here. And I used um, some you know electrical components from Home Depot that allowed me to use the same wire instead of extending it. So the two power wires that go from the, to the alternator to the starter, and then these little components right here, electrical things right here, I bought from Home Depot, which allowed me just to strip back the wire, stick it in there, and just clamp it down with the screw. And it fits nice and neat, nice and clean. So I can still, you know, I don't have to re relocate my battery. So I can still use the same spot. And there goes the battery. I just did a oil change. Um, that's it. It's pretty much done. I got my fuel system there. I gotta just bleed. I need some help from my partner. I gotta bleed the clutch line. But other than that, I'll do some new brakes on there as well. Just for now. All right. Again, this is this will be going for sale after I finish this project. I just did this for educational purposes, also for you guys to look at it because every single video that I watch with K series motors inside of an EK or EG chassis, they they don't show too much of uh, of uh, you know just details about it. And I know everyone on forums always ask, "Oh, how do I route this? How do I route that? How should I wire up my harness, my ECU, all that good stuff?" So take your time, pause the videos. This right here is all the the harness part portion of it, which goes to my starter and then my alternator. So this is all OEM harness, right? This is and then the knob sensor right there. So this is all OEM harness and I'm just reusing it. I'm right over here. I mean, they had a bunch of like uh, factory um, plastic covers like this one right here. If you can see this is original and this you know bolts up against this but I have removed the ones on this harness so that I can stretch it out as far as possible so it's coming out from under here under, under my intake it just routes right around here and it's not hitting the, 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 the belt or anything like that and then boom and it goes right to my battery and then you know this is EP3 pulley kit. Um, so far, everything's looking good. Uh, the next video will probably be me starting it. Um, I also mentioned you gotta have good ground. So of course, this, this is a engine harness ground on the valve cover. I got a, I use a, a negative ground cable from the B series. Just shortened it up and used tied it together with another one of those components from Home Depot. Obviously, they didn't show it, but uh, you guys can figure that out. Just make the, your ground harness, and that goes right here to the back of the transmission. So you need a transmission ground, engine harness ground, and then a chassis. And I'm using one of the bolts on the timing cover. All right. So you gotta have good ground. I think it's like three grounds. You can, you can use these right here also and tie it to the, to the chassis right here, I mean, whichever way. Boom. But I have good ground. So I tried cranking it over already. It does crank like it just cranks over. So I guess wiring as far as power wiring goes, everything's good there. But I was just you know wanted to see if it, it kind of like it did crank and it did because. I just didn't have the radiator in before, but here's the, here it goes. So I use this uh, OEM stay. I just flipped it upside down because the radiator is just a little bit lower. And at least the outlet for the upper radiator hose is the highest point. Because I also read, you know, it has to be higher, the highest point in your in your cooling system. Because if not, you might have some air bubbles inside, and there's no way for it to purge. So this upper radiator hose sits higher than the water housing right here. And then I have, I'm going to have a cooler reservoir somewhere around here. And then what else? I think that's pretty much it. 
So what I did was I used I used like a bracket from like another vehicle that I have found. And that's holding that up right there. And this thing's holding it right there. And then with the also with the support of the hoses, it gives it nice and solid. It's looking good too. Kind of cool, but it's definitely got some airflow there. All right, so this is all I have so far. Six feet transmission. Oh, yeah, also another thing. I cut out, I also cut out the I got the covers back on a little bit. I cut it out using the Hasport mounting kit. I cut it out. Oh, you kind of can see a little bit. So I cut it out. And this is the OEM shifter assembly using the Hasport mounting plate. And I can reuse my, um, my plastic interior. They right there, have it all sealed up. Uh, that was pretty fun to do. Uh, take a good look. EKK1 motor mounts. This is how he's going to sit. And this is a RBC intake manifold, uh, which I believe sticks out the furthest. So that's why I had the issue before, but no, no problem. You could just reuse your B series radiator. I happen to have an aluminum one, so it looks really nice. All right, my friends, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.